The Nikki Glaser Podcast. Ooh, 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 the Nikki Glaser Podcast. Here's Nikki. Hello, here I am. It's the Nikki Glaser Podcast. Welcome to the show. Um, with me today is my mom in studio. Hello, Nikki. Thank you for having me on again. Are you crying? I'm gonna, gonna. <laughs> What's going oh on with this face? You I look mean, like I'm do- granting you a make a wish no. or something. Yeah, you kind of are. No, oh. this is. It's so nice. It's I, not a favor. I would never have you on my podcast to be nice. Mm. I want you to know that. I, I would do so many things for you to be nice, but I would never have you on my podcast to be nice. Well, I feel I like I think it's you are valuable so to the nice. show. I think okay. you make it more fun. You make me better. Well, that's so sweet. That's another thing you're doing well, for me. Nice, you're nice, nice. For I've that re- sweet thing I said. Oh, and man. then Brian Frangi is here. What's up, Brian? Hello. <laughs> oh, Brian, not <laughs> you too. Everybody's going to cry. Listen, so... <laughs> Brian, I'm not doing this as a favor. I, I mean, I know, I know you have a sick wife. <laughs> oh. um, his wife has the. His, his, Allie is sick. Oh. Yeah. With nothing we know. So now, if it's not COVID, we just go. Who They're gives a sick. shit? Yeah. Who gives a oh, shit? Oh, man. You, everyone, my wife, you know, someone's sick and they go, is it COVID? Then you go, no. And they go, oh, okay, whatever then. And it's like, well, it could have been anything else. Is it cancer? <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. It's, well, no, these flus are so bad right now. Yeah. Flus are so bad. She might bad. have the People flu. Are, yeah, really sick from them. Well, did you see that? I sent you the, um, and Noah's here, of course. Hey, Noah, she's pregnant. <laughs> um, oh. Joking. <laughs> she's got a sickness of her own. She's got oh. a Stanley Cup. Is that a Stanley Cup? Uh, actually, it's Yukon Outfitters. Oh. Okay. I wanted to go against like the, the Huskies. Yeah. yeah. I have a little chicken. Oh, Yukon, so why you care? Oh, okay. I have a little uh, chicken oh, straw cover. I think it's cute. Oh. A straw cover. Wow. Is that from Chick fil A or something? Or Where did you get a straw it? cover? My friend Paloma gave it to me. She knows all mm. the That's so stuff. nice. Oh. She knew you had a cup that needed a straw cover. Yeah, well, she she had one. She had like a chipmunk or something. And I was like, that's so cute. Mm. I've never seen that. And she's like, I have oh, an and extra then she one. She got you one. Aww. That's so nice. That's cool. It's so nice when someone remembers something like that and then they. So nice. Yeah, you said. Kirsten remembered did. something that I. This oh. weekend. It was so nice. She on the girls' trip was wearing this purple shirt from this um, artist named Wise Blood, W E Y E S Blood. And it's the coolest shirt. I'm going to wear it tomorrow on the podcast. But so look at the YouTube tomorrow for tomorrow's show. But um, I she was wearing it in the girls trip. And I was just like, I love that so much. And then I left. Girl, she was like, you should get it. It's at, like it's her merch. And so I went to Wise Blood. I put it in the cart. And I don't even know any of Wise Blood's songs. I was just like, I just like the look of the shirt. So I felt like a poser. Mm. So then it just sat in my cart. And I thought, you know what? If. If I keep thinking about it, then I'll get it. You know, like if it still weighs on me a couple, wise bloods on me a couple days later, I'll get it. (laughs) And I forgot about it, but I would have gotten it. And then Kirsten got it for me for a gift. When I was in Kansas City this weekend, I saw it when we got into her car. I saw in her, she was helping load stuff in the back and I was already in the car. Or she was just watching. She, I wasn't like not helping her load. She was just in the back still talking mm. to you or something. You, you should. Yeah. And I saw it in her front seat in the bag. And I was like, <gasps> oh. oh, she got me what I wanted. Yeah. I was so excited. And then she brought you something else, some, some food item. She did? Yeah, that's cereal or whatever. That wasn't like that wasn't out of a the gift. kindness. No, oh. that was just like she can't eat certain things right now. And so she was oh, like, this okay. is just in my pantry. Mm. Oh. You're obsessed with that food item. <laughs> God, my mom cannot what? stop talking about this. She's like, what? she gave you that cereal. She can- Kirsten brought over the cereal that she can't eat anymore. She gave it to. She was like, do you want this? And I was like, yeah, I'll take that. I like those. And my mom has been. My mom put it in her bag. I guess I got left in my mom's room. And then my mom was like, Nick, we get in the Uber the next day. Nikki, I've got that. I've got that cereal. I go, do you? Do you just keep it? I don't need it. She's like, I don't want it. You want this. And I go, can we just deal with it later? Like, I don't have anywhere to put it like right now. Can we deal with it? Like when our suitcases are not like nearby. And then, and then again, it came I up like, and now today it's, co- yes, you love it. it. <laughs> That's insane that you think that it just happens to be. Is this like yeah. a, no, it was, I don't want to make this like it. generational, but is that like a boomer thing? Because my dad did like such a similar thing this weekend. I, I really? was in New York. He bought, uh, a gift for my sister-in-law for her birthday, which is yesterday at this point. And it was an Amazon. He got her chocolate covered pretzels, like a nice box of chocolate covered pretzels, but he accidentally sent them to San Francisco and they live in Boston. Now he sent them to their old address in San Francisco. So what would you do in that situation? If you ordered chocolate covered pretzels and they were shipped to the wrong address, 
Buy well, some new ones. You would yeah. just buy new ones and ship them to Boston? Yeah. Yeah, because I not guessing chocolate cup pretzels are over twelve ninety nine. Well, Therefore, not only that, you what are you going to do? You made a mistake. What, you, do you go back to Amazon and go, right, I, We're going to find out because it clearly wasn't that what, okay. what is that? Let me is. ask you All this. Right. Would you call up Amazon and then ask them, no. what should I do in this situation? <laughs> and then they say, wait till it gets delivered and then tell us again. And then you say, well, no one lives there that I know. And then they say, do you know anyone? And they say, well, maybe my brother's old landlord. And then try to get in touch with them in order to see if they would ship the package <laughs> of oh chocolate pretzels gosh. to Boston. Because that's what my you, dad was willing to go up through. Did you follow with your dad on this and say, dad, why, how much did this I cost? I talked with like, him about it not- all weekend. I was how like, much did the pretzels cost? <laughs> probably like 40 or $50. It's like a nice oh, okay. thing. Of, oh. But well, $40. Uh, we're, we're talking about... But these I are perishable. I would still eat the cost and just go, oh no, yeah. I guess we can't do it. But I think most people, 40, 40 or 50 dollars. I'm talking from my mom's yeah, point of view. Whoa. She's not going to let that go. Yeah, I wouldn't let that that's, go. What would you that's do, right. mom? Call Amazon? Well, I would call Amazon and say, what is the procedure <laughs> here? What do I do? And they'd say, well, you gave us the wrong address. That's your problem, probably. Yeah. But they're probably like, we'll last send, night, yeah. We'll send the, a new box over there to Boston. They will do that. Yeah. Because mm. even when you return something to Amazon, they'd throw they it throw in the it trash. Away, you said. I heard they, you say I that. didn't say it. It's true. God, that's <laughs> It's not just something I'm making I up. I want to be at they the put end air of tags. that. Mm-hmm. Where? Uh, and, and they put air tags, which are little tracking devices, into things that were returned at Amazon, and they all end up in landfills within oh. days. Oh, wow. God. Or there's there there. there, there sh- w- w- I think Adam did a Adam uh, ruins everything. Uh, Adam Conover oh. did a piece on this. I sent that to you. I sent it to uh-huh. our whole family. Oh, on returns. And, yeah, he did a YouTube video. Yeah, on returns. And um, they are first. They're put into like storage. Like they're they're put into lots. Like they're just all thrown into bins. And then people come and bid on just okay. getting a bunch of return junk. And then that most of it ends up in a landfill because those people can't resell that stuff. But gotcha. there's maybe a couple Man. items in there that oh, they can resell. Okay, because so it's like they buy did a grab resell. bag. Because I've seen... Yeah, but it all ends up in the trash. Which I mean, everything, everything does. Yeah, everything does. It's just you know this new thing inevitable. of like... This is my new thing. This isn't a new thing. Sorry, I'm detangling a necklace. I hope you can't hear it on the thing. But I can't stop. Once I start, I cannot stop. And what it's so hell? tangled. Put I'm just trying away. to take it off. Okay, I'm just going to put it away underneath my shirt. Stop it. Okay, so You're my new so thing is... You're so obsessed about people, that. Just kidding. <laughs> people will eat things. Maybe I've brought this up. People will eat things so that they don't go to waste. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Flash. Yes. It's turning into poop. Like it's gonna be waste. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be waste. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, <laughs> baby. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a different song, but oh, it sounds like the um, Britney song. It's gonna it's be me. Gonna be me. Wait, what? Is what the song I was doing? Oh baby, baby. I've done it's the same kind that's of the voice. Same song or? Yeah. Yeah. But how dare Britney. you confuse Britney and Justin <laughs> like Timberlake? Oh my God! Sin. That's too. How dare you? Oh my yeah. god. Well, those are those are the same song in my mind. Yeah. Um, they have been meshed together for eternity in my brain. Oh baby, baby, it's gonna be me. Yeah. The sound. That was an yeah, early two thousands voice. <laughs> um but yeah, it's like when people are like, if I eat that, it's not waste. It's like, yes, it is. It's, it's all gonna, gonna turn be... into waste. Yeah. Anyway. And I guess you're like getting something out of it because your con- your body's converting it to energy. But Another yeah, newsflash, like- no one in America needs more food in their body. Mm. Anytime you're going like, I should eat that because it's going to go to waste. You, Your body already has enough f- fuel. It's going to use that and turn it into fat because it doesn't know what to do with it. Because it's, it, it, it is going to waste. I get that. But uh, honestly, yeah. for that all of somebody to pick those raspberries and what, whoever, whatever. So you're saying like the taste of it, like tasting it and chewing it is like giving honor to that work. Kind of. You, it's like even why? if you're like I'm so full and this doesn't taste good and I can't even enjoy it and I feel bur- like well I wouldn't do that exactly like that but I would I would you eat would it. just know you would put like it in a to go container you would leave it in the back seat of your car until three <laughs> days later when you see it because you're putting in some luggage because you're going on the road with me that just happened at the airport <laughs> <laughs> there was a bunch of hummus and baba ganoush no guess and what that was. that was just containers mm. really yeah. But well, they no. had a little food left over in them. And so you had to throw it all out. And my mom goes, what a waste. Well, is there a part what? of you, She's is it all out. environmental? Or is there a part of you that's like, I spent money on this and therefore no, I need it to was, eat it? Uh, it was, at first I looked at it and I was like, was that good food? And then I saw that it was not. It was leftover containers stacked in top of each other. Mm-hmm. 
But that I felt bad about throwing away because it went the into the environment. Yeah. Can mm. I like to oh, say can't this. every place have paper? No, why, stuff, yeah, why containers? don't they? This heavy plastic that's like yeah. Tupperware you'd buy at the store. It's oh, so yeah. it, and, and I, I order from vegan restaurants all the time and it's always arriving. In this plastic Heavy thick in a plastic. tank, yeah. and then but the you paper, order from um, hold on the paper that they serve them Noah. in. Ready for Noah this? Is everything. coated in plastic. Yeah. Oh, I know, right. but at least it, yeah. it weighs less. Or yeah, something. at least it's and not, it looks yeah. nice. They in the should just you put it, it and it kind of blends in. They should you just know? put it in a big leaf and tape it up with twine. We're really just hold it. I, I don't know what, what are we supposed to do? There's nothing we can do anymore. Something like banana leaves or something they, we it's, need to harvest the Come banana on. leaves we need to it figure co- this it costs out too much money wrap it up in a corn husk plastic's cheap yeah good idea yeah corn when husk plastic- the, corn husk those go to waste like crazy we got so well, much corn we're subsidizing <laughs> corn across the nation there's husks yeah. all over the floor of, of america this is something i think this is something and i know this nikki High sharks mm-hmm. i know what you're talking about because you eat a lot <laughs> of thai food and yes. i'm putting thai food <gasps> places on notice they are the worst at this plastic worst overuse. Worst offenders. Yes. Oh, it's so yeah. bad. And I, uh, what do you well, do? They all do. Foam is they the worst. Even the Mediterranean food is in major plastic. Yeah. yeah. And well, it just came out that the plastic bottles are leaching. There's like hundred times more microplastics. Maybe a thousand times. It was some number that was just insane. More microplastics than they thought per in water bottle. Water. In water. In water. When you drink the water, oh my There's, God. it's a, either a hundred times or a thousand times more. It, it, it's regardless. That number is disgusting. Yes. And um, I, I switched to glass uh, mm-hmm. permanently for like three days. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you buy glass bottles yeah. now? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I, but, but most gas stations don't have glass. So I was Topo yeah. Chico in. Oh, yeah. And th- then they, you don't have a bottle opener. It's a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but I really want to get away from uh, uh, plastic water bottles after reading that. And and how could people not? I'm not even a germaphobe or like a toxins phobe. Mm-hmm. I know people that like are so cautious about toxins. My boyfriend like really won't drink tap water. Mm. We get really? special water brought in. Oh, I've been at his Our, house. I've seen the glass. We're not jug. even allowed to have a Berkey, which is like the best water filter because there might be some kind of like toxins. Like oh. all of our cleaning products are natural. Yeah. Uh, no sense in any of our, oh, yeah. um, like he's insane. He still eats Emo's pizza, but you know, <laughs> that's it. it, it Plenty listen, of toxins we're all doing our best, but he's, he's very scared of toxins. Wow. And even, um, I thought that, and I'm not at all. I'm not. I'm just like I'm kind of either, but I given up on to it. Be a little more. But even this scared me a little Once bit. Once you this start times the amount of pregnancy. Because I, yeah. I, because of pregnancy and stuff, I've been trying to like cut back on using plastic and we're slowly replacing all the Tupperware in our home with glass. But like once you, you're conscious of it, it's really yeah. impossible to weed plastic out because you wear it, you ingest it, you put it on your head, you're holding it all the time. It's like, it's crazy. Yeah, I would. You know, in California, they have this thing called Prop Five or something like that. Sixty-five. Where it's made of plastic too. That prop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I was in when I was in high school, I was in the Science Olympiad, and one of the uh, events was uh, identifying different types of plastic. And uh, me and my friend <laughs> you Matt would be Carp, so good at that. Yes, we came <laughs> so in fourth fun. place in the state in identifying wow. plastic types. And you tell by the little number on the bottom, right? That's right. Like HDPE is uh, hydroethylene terephthalate, which is number two. Jesus. Yes, that's right. Impressive. God, that's like Low- when Catholic people remember weird prayers. Yes. <laughs> like, well, those why, are why have you kept in touch? Those are drilled. Right, into but that's brain. what I'm saying. That got drilled from his little uh, uh, math uh, Olympian. Uh, why didn't they teach me piano instead? Why did they teach me uh, how to I learn know. all the fucking plastics? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I could be speaking Spanish and playing piano instead. Now I know what the four stands for in the bottom of a plastic bottle. Fuck you, Wanta. <laughs> Fuck you. Seriously. Okay, so what it, can you t- can you give us any? Th- thing you know about pla- like what should we know about plastics like what plastics should we what's use what's prop five about yeah prop five, oh right that's, that's what five. i was talking about prop five so Sorry. uh in california they have this thing where they put a warning label on uh any uh item you might purchase that has like chemicals in it that might cause cancer or birth defects which you think would be nice 
But then you go yeah, on but Amazon. It would be just illegal to use those things. Yeah. Instead of just like, but we warned you. Right. right. But I mean, cigarettes. Okay, go on. But then you go on Amazon, you go on Wayfair, and every fucking thing you could buy has a warning on it. Yeah. And so you just really? feel like, well, I guess I'm going to buy something that could give you cancer. I'd rather there oh, be no warning. That's not Prop 5, by the way. That's like some kind of like tax thing. I think you're thinking of 65. I think it was like Roe v. Wade or something. <laughs> yeah, Prop 65. That's right. Yeah. It's Prop 65. Oh. And it's like, there's so many things. Like, I was going to buy this really nice bread maker, and it and I was like so excited about it. And then it was like Prop 65. And I was like, well, I'm not going to have my bread maker have cancer chemicals in it. And then I oh had this luggage God. that I got from France, and they were like Prop 65. And I, I was like, I think that's okay if my luggage has cancer chemicals in it. I'm not sure. But. Jesus. Well, I, you know, there, we're not like, uh, if I think Flo- California is trying to pass a thing where they're not allowed to use dye, red dye or some kind of dye oh. that has, is a cancer causing dye that's in Skittles. Oh, and it's become boy. a big thing where, cause people are like, keep Skittles the way they are. But it's like, <laughs> One of the colors is giving people is is cancer causing, God and they damn. don't sell it in Europe. Like you can't buy so many of the things that you can buy in America in yes. other countries because wow. they actually care about the people that live there, mm-hmm. or maybe not. Maybe there's a some reason they're financially incentivized to not carry it. But here we're we don't have that protection. But I was sitting next to a table of um, Australians, I think, um, in my hotel the other day, and mm. this girl was like savoring her diet coke. She's like, I'm so excited about this Diet Coke. And I was like, oh my God, I get her so much. Like, I love Diet Coke too. Yeah. Like, it's it's like having a cigarette. It's it a is, treat. It is a treat. Yeah. And she said, oh my God, everyone, she was telling all of her Australian friends, taste this, taste how different this Diet Coke tastes than our Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. I'm like, even the thing that is cancer tastes more cancery here. Uh-huh. Like, is it not? Diet Coke's got to be cancer there too. Oh, well, it's Diet Coke's terrible for high you. High fructose corn syrup. I mean, we have corn syrup and all. No, it's not yeah, high for no, no. There's no diet, diet coke. Non diet sucro- coke. It's it's, it's um, sucrose. It's stuff. aspartame. What, aspartame. Oh, aspartame. Yeah, that's that's cancer yeah. causing. Yes, and that's what's in diet coke. And they recently yeah. th- uh, had a study come out that the sugar that they sweeten vitamin water with is also cancer causing. Disgusting. I mean, yeah. I, diet coke. I have to say though, I love them, and I love that there's this like new resurgence of people being like, "Sorry, I'm doing it. Like life is yeah. short." Diet Coke, baby. Mm, because that's it, it, you, you don't see this. Yet. <laughs> Life is short, Diet Coke. Um, and it's going to be even shorter now. But I think that um, I, I like there's this meme thing going on. I know you're not like plugged into no, what the meme culture but, is, but there are in um, basic bitch meme culture. Diet Coke is like taking on a new like people are, are loving it again. Back in their lives. It, di- the Coca-Cola marketing has worked. They've oh. infiltrated mm. the meme culture like it's everyone's bought on. It's back in. And I just I like having a little naughty thing I do. Yeah. That's kind you of like, have any like I can even tell like when I buy them, Chris will buy them for me, but he's not happy about it. Like oh. it, it, he can tell it's a vice that I feel bad about yeah. and that I secretly n- want to quit. Right. So he's like trying to aid in my quitting, but also like a little bit like sad when I, I give in because right. it, it I do feel so naughty, but man, Diet Coke out of a, 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 a bottle. No. Oh. How many do you have? Oh, oh plastic Cancer bottle. on cancer, baby. Do you, yeah. do, you have, what? do you have more than one in, in the sitting? Here's what I do, because um, yes, I would be interested if I was a bestie and I drank Diet Coke. What is my consumption level? I will do um, on the road to a, some one and a half a day. Like I'll oh, buy one okay. in the morning. I'll drink half of it. And as soon as it gets room temperature, me no one. Even if it gets kind of warm, I don't like it. Right. I toss it. I'll drink like half as my treat until I get annoyed. And then before a show, I'll sip on one. So it's probably about to about one a day, probably four days a week. I do have one in my suitcase that I stole from the venue the other night. I haven't transferred it into the refrigerator, but I, I'm going to later today because I have. need it. Lifts my mood, y'all. Yeah. It gets me in a better mood. It has caffeine in it, right. so that's your luggage. I think that's it. But it's n- yeah, it's in my. Well, I didn't want it to go to waste because it was it was it was oh, at the go. venue. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't want it to go to waste. <laughs> well, it actually would have gotten eat. It would have gotten drank by someone there. So I didn't yeah. want. I just didn't want soft it's, drinks are a different. They're four dollars at the airport. I was like, yeah. I'll either buy. F- I this know. Ref- you know, like oh, so you yeah, I don't know. I was trying to save one eighty nine. I yeah. checked it in my. Yeah, wow. it was four dollars and nine cents. What at really? The airport. Did you know that yeah. for real? I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, you buy two waters and they're like eight forty nine, and you go. What? Are we going to laugh about this before I <laughs> hand over my credit yeah. card? Are we going to like share a little g- knowing giggle? Yeah. That this is bullshit. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But um, 
Yeah, I uh, I love Diet Coke. It really does make me feel like I'm doing a drug. Like it gives me that little hit of dopamine that I'm like, I'm it's naughty, little, I'm bad. Yeah. It's a little uh, like yeah. a little can't. It's it's like a smoking a cigarette. It's probably mm. as bad as smoking a cigarette. So I hope Donald oh. Trump keeps chugging them. I hope he drinks chug a lot. Chug a he does. No, he drinks ten a day, mom. Oh my god, isn't that the number, Brian? Well, that's the thing. I mean, know. you drink ten a day. He's uh, almost eighty. It doesn't seem to matter for some people. It really comes down to just yeah, your genetics. That's the thing. It's like cigarettes. Yeah. Like some yeah. people can smoke cigarettes until they die. And it just that doesn't matter. Story. My mom drank diet soft drinks. They're so good. Yeah. Life is short. Sometimes you got to have a little vice, but like. When I was drinking, like these Zevias, I gotta stop. This Why? can't be good. I drink yeah, like six a day. Yeah, I don't drink water because I drink them. There's, it's I can't. I'm waiting there's for the other shoe to this. drop on Lacroix. Yeah, I know, but something's oh, wrong yeah. with Lacroix. Joe Mandy told me Lacroix gave him um, kidney stones. He was drinking like ten a day when he worked mm. on Parks and Rec, and he was hospitalized for kidney stones. Wow. Horrible. And he was like, it was all Lacroix. Yeah. So there's it's bad. I mean, it's. Anything in the excess we is bad. Even something. water, people get like brain damage from drinking. Well, yeah, it's got plastic particles. In it. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're gonna go to break and talk about happier things when we get back Yay. after this. All right, we're back. Um, so this weekend, mom came on the road. Oh, cool. With me. She wrote me on Thursday day. I, maybe it was like late. It like, was. It was afternoon. Afternoon, and she was like, Nick, Nick. And you and I didn't even say it like that because I I was texting you, but yeah, but go ahead. It was like Nick, <laughs> you, you can I come on the road with oh, you sometime? Nice. And, Aww, that's yeah, so I sweet. love when my mom comes out. With no, me. I was just like pitching her, and I thought, you know, sometime because I, I think you like hanging out with me, and you aren't ready to admit it to yourself, but I think you like I me. Love hanging out with you. Yeah, I think we had a good diamond funny girl. I think yeah. you were feeling that. I think you yeah. were like. Mm. We're having thinking fun. about it, like, wow, I Nikki's like my friend. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I like like hanging out with yeah. her. Oh, see? That's the best. So she, that's the best argument that, for having, having a child. A great time. If you could have a it's child have that a grows friend. up and then they're your friend, I mean, that's like the yeah. best that's case why scenario. I want one. I yeah. know. That's what I want to just cut to. I just want to <sighs> cut to them being like fifteen and up. And yeah. I know that fifteen year old girls are a nightmare. But I, I am delusional enough to think that I would have one that liked you me. Could, control that child because she'd be autistic on love on the spectrum and they seem to be so in love with their parents because their parents are so so because their parents are right there anyway my mom texted me hey nick um are you, I, I are is you there a time i could come out on the road with you and i said what about tomorrow and she was like i can't no i said uh i wasn't expecting that answer yeah yeah and, and then, then, you then were, like, i was like one minute later yeah, I think I can do that. I was like, you already got dad's permission. He signed your field trip. Slip. Yeah, he did. That was quick. I said, I have to ask your father. I know. What? How did that go? I didn't even ask him. I was going to say, <laughs> I didn't think oh, you had time. You answered me too quickly. I, I know. I was like, well, am I really going to ask him? I'm just going to tell him that I'm going. Thank you. <laughs> tell and then ask for permission yeah, well, after. I, I don't need permission. I mean, I just was oh, seeing if it was Yes, you do. The convenient. wives need permission, but the baby will always act like he doesn't own me. Mm. Yes, he does. You don't own me. And you are owned by your wife, guy, who says she doesn't. Like, you all need permission. We all well, do. No, I, I even mean, need I permission. I was just seeing if it was he you know i knew he had a gig and i yeah. thought well we just did the oh, same gig perfect. that last weekend oh so you, he can't be like well you never come to my gig yeah, exactly like, boom you were there just last there. weekend oh that's good and so and i knew it was going to be the same kind of people there i thought well I, i'm not going to miss that and then you was know, there any guilt trip whatsoever no it wasn't guilt after i and he's been out on the road with me yeah, like the last two times that alone. To me. Mm. Somebody mentioned they said, "Well, you know, EJ goes on the road with Nikki." I'm yeah, like, oh, and we just true. did that. We did that. We are family show together yeah. alone. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you and I are do a trip, even though yeah. it isn't tit for tat. But for some reason, in my family, it is. With it him. is tit for tat. Like you can't do something unless someone else also does it. Like, well, it's Nick. Well, then we're we're also getting Lauren a gift on Nikki's birthday. Where like we get we get birthday <laughs> gifts for each other on other people's birthdays because like people can't have you can't just have That's something not it, true. it has to be equal yes because no. sometimes the dogs I'm like this dog doesn't need a treat it's fat and this dog do deserves a treat because it's good you can't do that and they go no you can't give no. not give one of the dogs treats and I go absolutely you can well you can but it's not fair. Well, mm. the dogs don't play by fair. Trust they're me. They're not. That's not they, just. Are you kidding me? Those dogs? No. 
If you give one, the other one is waiting right there. And then there. they'll forget two seconds later. They, they don't forget, forget about one. Because they'll forget that if they even got one. Oh, my God. Nikki yeah. doesn't get it. You used to say, dogs don't get jealous. Well, I know. And that's the thing that I cannot Whoa. escape in my, like, my family is that I once said dogs can't get jealous and I take it back. Yeah, but that, is, that has re-haunted me my whole life. Is to, <laughs> you guys always go, remember that time Nikki said dogs can't get jealous? And I was like, it's not, that's not what I meant. I just meant they don't, they aren't like, she has this thing and I want it too. They're not like, <laughs> yeah, they do feel They're just like, I want, blah, blah. they're just <laughs> they simple want, and stupid. They want what the other one has. Uh, that's a good point. It's Maybe so I'm funny. wrong. No, it's, well, it's so obvious how jealous Well, you went are. on the road with me because I, because yeah, you were like, yeah, I'm doing this. it. And I'm, I yeah. really respect you for like, you like doing things and traveling and uh, like, mm. like, uh, and you're old. Well, what does that you're have 65 to do? and you're like, I don't mind going on planes and checking into hotels and packing like, and you're not like someone, you don't pack like me. You're not just like, oh, I'll just throw things in a bag five minutes before I leave. You like p- prepare to pack. Well, I don't I want to, I don't want to take a lot and of stuff. And if I worked that way, I would feel burdened by travel, but you're down for it. No, I, oh, I was so in and it, it was so, because you said it's going to be easy. It's going to be Atlanta, Kansas City. And I was like. Uh, okay, those are short flights. That's the thing I like. It's like you get up in the air and you yeah. get back down. As soon as you reach the top, you're descending. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's like, mm. I love that kind of flying. So it was great. It was great. We had a great time. We did go to Atlanta and we landed and I was not in a good mood. Because that airport just sucks so much. Very you busy. land yeah, and you have to walk so far and then you have to walk to a shuttle and then you have to get Ugh, in this the shuttle. steamy, humid like it feels like you're getting on the G train. Oh yeah, it was hot it's in dirty and, and airport. It's not dirty, but it's just hot. Yeah, yeah. it's just hot, Lana, baby. Well, it's yeah. not even hot outside, really. Yeah, but, but it was just hot. In, it was, it was it, like a sauna down yeah, there. They, yeah. Was it and under then construction? The tram took so long. Probably. I feel like every airport in America is, is in constru- under construction <laughs> it is. now. Yeah, it's such an excuse for things just being slow and shitty. Yeah, Maybe. you just put up a sign that says like "It's part in our dust." <laughs> it's like well, there is no dust. <laughs> there's just no one working here. <laughs> but there's some cones, and people up. aren't being paid fairly, so they're moving like snails. Why right. is why uh, all, all yeah, the signs? Cones. There's all these signs in America, and for some reason, when it comes to part in our dust, they get this <laughs> official like uh, British like, aristocrat sign. Everything else is yeah. like under construction. Yield. Stop. <laughs> part in our dust what is that <laughs> that's so true why Where'd is that it come part from? of our dust yeah it was one person came up with it and it was a cute quirky thing it's cute we're working on this place oh man there was a sign in our elevator when we were in where were we brian one of those like daytona or something mm. there was a sign in our elevator that was terrible oh. i'm trying to see if you remember what it was it was yellow and it made me sick. It was a pun. Yeah, I, I do remember the pun. Do you remember? Uh, oh my God, if you remembered, this would be like the plastics thing. Oh, I feel like the plastics God. are preventing me from remembering because they're in my <laughs> brain. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. The tetrahydrochloracine. Yeah. Um. Okay, so the, yeah, the, the, we get in the, the shuttle and then we, it, yeah. every stop, you have to wait two minutes. And if you're a New Yorker and you used to ride this train, it's o- doors open, doors close. Right. If and you miss zip, it, it's your yep. fault. You gotta hustle. I like New York because people are moving fast. There's no time to go like, I'm going to get up and sort my bags and make sure the book is tucked in. And I'll put my book. Oh, I forgot to put the bookmark. Put that back in. Put it back in. Now I'm going to pick it up. Bef- like pick it up as you're moving. Like people will just pick something up as they're standing the and then operate. start to move. You operate well, can, on the run. We can just like, let's do, go diagonal instead of up and then yes. over. Just diagonal. diagonal. Pick up the bag. and Let's cross the street. Diagonal. Why do we let's have to Let's use walk? a mobile yes. order. Yes. Let's, let's, let's grab the drink as we're passing by Starbucks. We don't need to go and stand in line like a... Uh, that's Please. you. Yeah, you are. Uh, we move. Efficient. Keep it snappy. So, She's man, efficient. when I'm at that little stop at that with that shuttle, and we're like, you know, you've reached terminal three. Burn, 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 burn. You got me because you got <laughs> off at the wrong stop by accident. And yeah, then- because I was, I, I would goes. There's no way. There's another stop. This has been. We were only in terminal <laughs> three, and there's it's three, two, one, T, and then baggage claim. Mm, and right. so we're at T and I get off and then I'm like, what the fuck? So we have to get back on. And it was just taking so long. And then we finally get to the lu- baggage claim. Our luggage comes right out. Efficient as fuck. Thank you so much, Atlanta Airport. Yep, we get the was. luggage. 
then we got to find the Uber. Now, no signs. No where? signs. No signs. There's never any signs at airports. It trying to find it is like they where don't is your Uber They don't up? want you to take no, Ubers. Yeah, they must it, not. It has to be that because there's yeah. no other reason for the uh the deficiency of information. Yeah. Yeah. How, I mean, how are the two looking. of you in a circumstance like this? Is someone like calm and collected like I'm going to look it up is someone frantic? How are the two of you? Um, I'm on a, I'm an, I'm, I'm in a, I'm on one and I'm allowed to be on one because I'm with my mom and she loves me and she accepts me for who I am. So like, I kind of, you know, when you're like in a bad mood and there's certain people you just, you got to suck it up for. And then there's others that you can just kind of let it yes. out and be yourself. Mom, I can just, I can be like, I'm a baby. And it like, because she's my mom. I was a baby yeah. at some point. She, you were my baby. <laughs> so I'm sucking on her tit and <laughs> she's the one that goes up to, yeah. So I was just like. I don't, God, where is, there's no sign. Like I was just kind of being pouty baby. And, um, and then I, I gotta be honest with you, Noah, my mom isn't capable of finding information in airport that I'm not capable of right? because I, I just, I, that's the language I speak. Do you, that's your, that's your. Yeah. So thing. like she can try to help snap and like into a personality that's there under like duress. Right. Okay, that person wasn't showing okay. up to this hang. <laughs> <There was, laughs> we were just like, I was just kind of giving up. And then I was just like looking at people around. And then I'm looking for anyone that works there being like, right. where would Ubers pick up? And then finally, I don't even know. I, I Oh, I just called an Uber. And then on the Uber app, it will tell you where to go. Okay. Yeah, it's just like so, you need that. It's crazy. In LAX, they have LA Exit. And I'm just, oh. every time I see that, I'm like, can you imagine if you were from a foreign country and you didn't speak English and you had to figure out how to get an Uber and the signs say LA exit? It's not even a word you could look up. They're trying to be cute. That is the weirdest thing. Like LA ex exit. Yeah. That's What's how you that get mean? to the Uber. You have to take a shuttle well, to another, to like a remote location. Unless you get an Uber black and you pay a hundred dollars more, which I do every okay. time because I do not want to bring two suukases onto a shuttle bus and then go. And I just, I, I just go, I'll okay, just well, eat let's, the cost. Let's talk about when we got to the Uber stand. So we get to the Uber stand. Finally, we walk like, and I'm complaining. I'm like, I feel like a refugee right now. Cause we're, we're walking through these long, uh, you know, corridors and like these garages with these that thick hot. puddles and it's, it's hot. hot. It's gross. Yeah. And and I'm it's already late. I'm not gonna get a nap in before the show. I'm just like, ugh. I think that was you that was on your mind the whole time. Anytime I'm in a bad mood, it's because I do not see the, a nap on the horizon. Gotcha. Baby need nap. <laughs> and so it really is the only time when I see my time my it's yeah. one of our biggest things in therapy, couples therapy. Chris brings up that he's scared to ask me to do things because I take everything that gets brought up as uh, an affront to my time. Oh, like everything could possibly. Uh, it, it's as if my time were raped from me at some point in my <laughs> life. So anytime he has a little thing that might take my time, I'm like, <gasps> I don't have the time. Like it's 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 as if some at some point in in my life, and I I trace it back to you guys bringing me to air shows and and <laughs> like as a kid, you your time is raped from you because you just have to do what your parents tell you to do. Yeah, it's not. And you fair. have to go. It's just air shows weren't like a part of our lives, but like. They I, I were think, kind of a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we would go to every air show. I can't even. I know. I, I don't and even want to talk about fireworks. I mean, that it's, was another thing. Yeah. Th think Poor of the two Nikki. biggest fears of your life and you have to go do them yeah. and everyone's excited about it. And it is. And driving on the highway. Let's not forget just being on the highway. Yeah, that's scary it's for just, kids. Everything about it was horrible. But I think that, and I'm not I'm not calling you out being like, why did you do that to me? Being a kid is having like your your time is is not yours. You right. can't be like, I don't feel like doing that. It's no, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It depends so you, what, what kid you are. Well, you, <laughs> we know kids when you're a kid that. growing up in the 90s, you, yeah, don't your, no. you don't get your, you don't get, you don't have a lot of flow. boundaries. Yeah, well, you can't family. just be like, it's, I'm going to do my own thing, I think. I'm going to hang back. No, can't do that. Yes. And I don't know what else happened to me, but yeah, like I'm. whenever my time seems to be, whenever there's not going to be time for me to be alone and like, it, and I think now I'm starting to need time to cry. Mm -hmm. And if I don't see a time where I'm going to be able to cry at any point before I do something or have like even the opportunity, not that I cry a lot, but like I just, I start to panic. So anyway, we're going to the Uber X 
and or to the Uber Black. I called it Black Car because I want to be impressive to my mom. So I get a black SUV, and at, you know, an Escalade is coming to get us. And they were waiting there. Ten minutes passes. We're hanging out. My phone's about to die, so I'm not really looking at it. And then he goes to. He's in a totally different part of the airport. Then he calls me. Not speaking English. I can't really. I can't understand what he's doing. I'm saying that I'm in this section. I'm at L E outside. No, you know, he can't hear me. I can't hear him. I hang up. I say, I got to cancel it. I'm so sorry. So I cancel it. I call another one. That one's eight minutes away. My phone is on 1% now. Oof, I'm freaking yeah. out. So I set it down and I don't look at it. Then it gets to, I pick it up at seven minutes later. The car is at another location. This is a different location now. And I go, what is going on? Why is my dot here? And he's here. So I cancel it before my phone dies because I don't even have time to communicate with this guy to come to the right place because my phone's about to die. So then I go, mom, I got to use your phone. She doesn't even have Uber downloaded. She got to <laughs> download Uber, which takes forever because we're out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in the middle of this parking garage b- beneath the, the ground. And then, and but while we're doing this, there's all of these drivers coming up to us, you know, just guys waiting by mm. who are trying, who are going like, you need a ride? You need a ride? You know, you've seen these guys. I'm a and car service. You need a ride? And there's constantly, Why you not know, take voice- one? Yeah, well, he seems... Kind of legit. Exactly. Except that every four seconds, there's a woman that comes over the speaker going like, please do not accept rides from those you do not know. I did not. It is illegal to expect a ride. For, like, there's constantly that. that. They won't tell you where to pick up a well, number, but they they'll tell you also, not to get in a car. Right. They should have a better signage for the Uber so they don't want you to get into an illegal man's yeah. car. Exactly. It's like they don't have a solution to what these guys are there for. So what these are they, guys, what's their racket? What are they doing? And the guys, the guys, they just want to make some money off people who are stranded by Uber or mm-hmm. who like can't, their Uber didn't show up or whatever. So, but they all lie. They go, my car didn't show up. I, my, my passenger didn't show up. I'm just waiting here. I got right. a free car. And I go, and I go, you can't say that to me. I've been here 20 minutes. Your car, you, your car, <laughs> you're, you've said this to three people in the time that I've been here. Yeah. And I Can, was absolutely saying, do not take a ride. You were getting mad. Oh, yeah, I'm taking it. I'm going to take it. No, that. no, no. I'm, we're not there yet. So then I'm like, I'm just going to get a ride from this guy, from one of these guys because I have cash on me. Right. And mm. I don't have to give away a credit card because my mom's like, when we did this in France, we got charged $1,800, which is true. They got scammed. Yeah, we're still working that out. Yes. Well, that's a silly thing that you get. I only pay Venmo or cash to these guys that are just offering rides. So then I go up to this guy. I'm about to go over to the the guy guy. And then I go up to this other guy who works there. He has a luggage cart. He's collecting luggage carts. He maybe helped an old woman out there. And I said, where Am I supposed to go to get an Uber Black? I don't get this. And he's like, oh, you're in the wrong section. Uber Blacks pick up in this other area, which I would never know because There's the app no, didn't even yeah. tell me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then I, I'm like, I, I've already been waiting here 25 minutes. I, we're, our flight was an hour late getting in. I, I, I'm i not going to get my nap. I'm not going to get my nap. I barely am going to get a chance to even work out or even look at a treadmill. And I'm just like annoyed. And then I go, the I'm just going to get. Yeah, yeah. So we, we land at like oh. two, and by this time it was three thirty because our flight was supposed to land at two, but it landed later. So it was three thirty. Our, our hotel's in uh, four or thirty five minutes away, and then I got to be at the show at I, at seven. So the show was later than I thought. So it started at eight. So I had to be there at seven. So it doesn't leave a lot of time to get, and then you need an hour to get ready, put on those eyelashes and spray tan and all the stuff. So, um. I go, I'm going to get a ride from one of these guys. I said to the the guy that was telling me where to get an Uber. I go, I'm just going to get one from a ride from one of these guys. He goes, don't. And I go, why? I go, I have cash. And he's like, no, no, no. You might get kidnapped. Yeah. I go, what? This is Atlanta. <laughs> Look at me. I go, no, I'm not. And he goes, and I go, I'm 39. I was like, I'm not going to get kidnapped. And this was my point was like. I talked about this on the podcast the other day. I'm not worried about being kidnapped. I'm too old. No one's going to sell me for sex. Well, now you're you're thinking about it. You kind of want to get kidnapped. For well, part of me is story. sad that I'm out of the <laughs> oh trafficking age. Oh, that's you know, so there's sad. a part of you that goes like, is that really what these guys are I doing? Still be though trafficked? they're hanging out at at the airport. Just exactly. so they can kidnap somebody. Well, I mean, they're going to scam you. This is, and I go and I got my mom with. Are me. they this is gonna, Are they not gonna, really going to scam you, or are they just trying to? I think oh, usurp yeah. the Uber fees. They're trying to make more money. Yeah, yeah. They're I mean, these guys. The, there's not that many money. people Cash kidnapping under the table. Uber's not going to take anything. It's yeah. going to be all 
No, no, no. But and they'll just make up a number uh, that is. Yeah, but then high. you negotiate with them before you get in the car. I know what the number was on the Uber thing, so I can give them around that. Like I was gonna negotiate. I've I've taken them before. I'm not crazy. Like this is when you're in desperation. These guys are legit. Mom, my mom thinks you think seven men were all there to kidnap <laughs> women. Do you think no, that that is a thing that's happening every day at the Atlanta not. airport? But this guy is, uh, he's got a point. If he ever found out who you are, maybe. I don't no, know. No, I think it, that would even protect me more to be if they knew who I was. I mean, me, they'd be, they thought who I was. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> I'm the daughter of Nikki Glazer. The mother. I mean, the mother. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have a quick uh, I know stat I was like, <laughs> about kidnapping. Okay, okay. okay. while the fear of being kidnapped may persist for one's entire life, in 2022, the number of missing persons under the age of 21 uh, was much higher than those of uh, than those over 21, no duh, with mm-hmm. 206,371 no females under 21 reported missing and 64, uh, 64,956 wow, really females off. over the age of 21 reported missing. And if we're going over 35, that number is getting even It's even less. lower. And that's in America? I mean, in the U.S. And let's yeah, be is honest. Yeah, that America? I mean, kidnapping I, is happening mostly to b- people, like parents steal their kids from yeah, the mother. Yeah, those, no, those or numbers the, like, are... It's, it's not, that's it's like not parents people steal, at the airport. No, it's not people taking a child from the mall. 40-year-olds with three luggage, three things no, of luggage. There's no <laughs> way. And I go, I go, where, what are they going to sell us into? I was just telling my mom, like, sex is not on the table. For either of us. Slavery. Ransom. Yeah, just uh, ransom. 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 Yeah, that's big. Who like, is going to pay ransom well, for this me? Is not, the this only happens one in my all family the time. that can pay ransom is me. If, well, you would You would pay ransom. it. They would take you, you to... Uh, would pay. I would pay them. You'd take you right to the bank. <laughs> yes, they I could do back. that. I have really good per- money protection. I'd be fine with that. I'd be like, yeah, take me in the bank. And this and does I would, happen. I wouldn't have to in do like, my show, and I would get press in like third world okay. countries. Or yes. th- this does happen. I, I I've heard stories. My I've had it happen to a couple friends where you're in. It's like in Mexico, Central America, places in Africa, yes. um, Eastern Europe. You get into a taxi. They just take you out to the desert, and they say right. we're not going to take you back unless you give us two hundred dollars. Yeah. Or and then they right. just if well, you don't pay, they just let you out in the middle of nowhere, and you don't know how to get home. I was listening to some pod- Sam Harris podcast and a guy was talking about how um, he was talking about hostage situations and he said that they're much more common, obviously, in South America because uh, kidnapping is like a littering charge in terms of w- what the what the punishment is. Oh, wow. It's not you don't you can get out of jail that night if you kidnap someone wow. that day. Mm. And in America, kidnapping it well, is that's uh, life sentence. it's yes, yeah, so it's it's potential for a life sentence. So you are much more likely to be murdered. When you are kidnapped in America, oh, because wow. they're it, they're already fuck, they've already they're already doing life. You're going, yeah. So why wouldn't they just take your life too? Interesting. So it's really interesting, like the um, yikes. What the legalized the, kidnapping? The we need to legalize it. Possibly, we're, we're gonna have to legalize. I it. mean, you take someone for a joyride <laughs> for a few hours, it should be fine. But I will say that Josh, who is the guy that helped us and gave us advice and looked at me like, this may be the last time I ever see you if you get in that car. Like, he gave me that kind of look and I go, and he was such a nice guy and he was, uh, I go, okay, fine, Josh, will you walk us to the Uber black place? Because I don't know where to go. And so he was walking us and he was so nice and I was, and I was trying to like get my mood back up because this guy was just so nice and I didn't want to be like a little pouty brat. And, um, and he was like, do you know, do you know who you sound like? And I was like, who? And he was like, do you know the comedian Nikki Glazer? And I was like, I do know her. <laughs> I know her very well. Because I am her, Josh. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah. He was like, you sound just like her. And he was like, I thought I heard from your voice. And I was like, thank you. And I said, you want to come to a show tonight? And he was like, I do. And I, he goes, what time? And I go, when do you get off work? And he's like, 11 p.m. And I go, I'll, I'll see you next Aww. time. <laughs> because that's, I don't, I'm not a stripper. I don't know and, and what, what thing I show I could be doing tonight in yeah, which you exactly. could attend. What, yeah, I'll come. But yeah. Shout out to Josh at the Atlanta airport. He like went above and beyond. Joshua, he went above and beyond. I he love did. him so much. Yeah. Um, And I will say the other day I was coming back from Kansas City there was this guy on our plane that was just kept looking at me. And I just know when people like recognize me. I'm sure. It's yeah. just like a little, th- and sometimes they smile and they just like, you keep looking at them and they're looking at you. Right. And as a girl that does not get men looking at her all the time, I know, I just don't. Otherwise I wouldn't notice these times. 
I don't have men like, hey, I just don't do it. So when it happens, it always is that. And so I was getting off the plane and this guy that had looked at me a couple of times before in the boarding area, he comes up to me and is like, has anyone ever told you that you and I go, I am her. I didn't even I just <laughs> because that's the way people say it. They go, they like and to then go, it goes, you're Katie Couric. <laughs> that's where he was going but you didn't give him a chance it was really nice though he was very cute I was very flattered that a cute boy uh, oh. recognized me and I was like uh, yeah it was it was nice but it always starts with does anyone ever told you that you and you know it's coming and I, me with mobile order Nikki I don't have the patience for it and I just go I, yes it's me <laughs> I, I don't like wait it out because and I should wait it out because at some point they are gonna say someone different has anyone ever told you that you shouldn't wear your hair like that? <laughs> um, all right. I am going to take a break. We'll come back after this. So, yeah, this weekend we were in Kansas City, Saturday night, the night before the big Chiefs game. game. Oh, right. The AFC. Is that what it was? The AFC, the AFC championship? championship game. Is that like saying ATM machine? Is championship a part of AFC? No. AFC <laughs> is the American Football Conference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Oh. But and they, they weren't playing yeah. in Kansas City either. They were uh um They were the, they were the away Ravens. Team. Yeah, they were in Baltimore. Baltimore. Yes. Wow, Nikki, you even picked up on that. What? Where they, they were? Where they were playing and then where well, they were. Yeah, I was aware of who was involved in, in the final four, is what they I called it. <laughs> that's what uh, I'm I think that's basketball. That's basketball. And I also thing. asked Chris yesterday, I said, Are there assists in football? And he said, You wish. And I go, I don't <laughs> wish. <laughs> I just want to know why aren't there? If you throw to the ball to someone and then they score a touchdown, shouldn't that be an assist? You would just mm. like you're Sounds throwing a basket. Like why yeah. not? What is it called? It's, it's called, called touchdown chaos. pass. Because an, an what, assist that's a, that's is that's the, you're helping somebody score and in basketball they have to shoot the ball after they receive the pass in order to score so they're like doing most of the work which is why it's just an assist whereas if you throw the ball in football to somebody and they catch it in the end zone the guy who threw the ball is doing more than half the work that's a good point but what if the guy catches it and then runs a lot yeah maybe that that should be an assist maybe the quarterback should get less credit for that because sometimes they do a dump off it's like five yards and the guy just does like a magic trick and spins around everybody that mm-hmm. guy, sh- but that guy gets yards. He racks up the yard, but no, he does if he catches it anyway. So okay, yeah, well, let's talk about your that. Your point game. is valid. Your point is valid. There should be Thank some you. note because some <laughs> all passes some are credit. not equal. All passes are not equal. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. What did you think of that game? It was um, I just I just went to bed halfway through, and I did what I did the other day where I manifested, and I said I went to bed. I went to go take a nap during the first quarter. And they were up, I think, four points. And I said to Chris, I'll be back. They're going to be, they're going to win this game. But yeah. just, just trust me. It's like, it's done deal. They're going to win. They're go- they're going all, I said it. They're going all the way. I was right. I didn't yeah. mean that they're going to win the Super Bowl. I just meant they're getting there. I was right. Mm-hmm. And um, I came back out during the fourth quarter. They had it. it. They had it, man. Yeah. Yeah. It was a fun game. It was a pretty I- frustrating game because the Chiefs are now entering like dynasty mode and they won the Super Bowl yeah. last year. They've won the Super Bowl multiple times. Mahomes and Kelsey have multiple rings. So they're always the favorite, even if they're playing, even if they're not the favorite in Vegas odds and they're playing away, the underdog were the Ravens. Even though the Ravens have won a lot of Super Bowls oh. too. But but they were the favorites, right? The yeah, Ravens? They were the slight favorites. Yeah, they were. But people, and the Chiefs aren't even favorite to win the Super Bowl, according to Vegas. The 49ers right. are one and a half point okay. favorites. The Chiefs are one and a half point dogs. And I just think what that, does that mean? it's hard to root for a team that just like wins the Super Bowl every year. It's like rooting for the Patriots in the early 2000s. And so part of me was like, I really want the Ravens to win. But also, I want the Chiefs to win so that Nikki's prediction comes true. And also, Aww, thanks for the sake of the NFL, I mean, they just want to ride out this uh, Swift Kelsey thing for as much as they can. And for Dude, better or worse. Did you see how much money that she's made the NFL? It was like three hundred three hundred sixty one million dollars. Yeah. They determine as has been the revenue that she's How brought did in. They figure that out. I, I mean, it's a, obviously a an estimate, a, an estimate. But it's uh, I would not be surprised if it was up there. It's no. you know, it's it's a huge. Yeah, no. I mean, she's gotten people deal. to watch football. You yeah. never watch football. I, w- I would. I didn't know who Travis Kelsey was. Yeah, yeah. Who does who did? Uh, 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 he was apparently well known. And, and this was a meme where girls were asking their boyfriend, like, or telling their boyfriends, Travis, 
uh, Taylor Swift put Travis Kelsey on the map, <laughs> and then they would just see these guys. You just see these guys go like, "What? Yeah, yeah." Oh, she did it. And yeah. They're like, I think she did, babe. And it's like we just watched <laughs> these guys like heads explode. But um, I really didn't know who he was. And then I will say that like I'm a big Travis Kelsey fan right now, and it's really? it's I think he is so cute. Um, oh, I think the he, tides have turned. Yeah, Chris keeps like kind of going like, oh, your crush is gonna like he he's kind of like noticing like I have like an affection for this guy. I really really like him. I think he's so hot. And oh my god, on the field, I was saw a video. Let I've been like avoiding watching too much of it because I just feel like it's so invasive. The cameras are like right in their faces when they when Taylor was on the field hugging him, and I just didn't want to like I don't want to do the lip reading and like figure out what she said to him and what he said to her. But if enough of those videos come up, you finally just give in and go fine. I'll watch. Right. Are we really gonna hear what she whispered in his ear? And we did. What? It was fucking adorable, y'all. Okay, so she goes up to oh him and he goes... Oh my God, we get to know this? He goes, hey, sweetie. He calls her sweetie. Oh. And then, and then they, they they kiss. And the way she like looks up at him, you'll have to watch, but she like, she's like nuzzled in his like neck. And then she like looks up at him and she just is like trying to find his mouth with her lips. It's so cute. And then they kiss. And then she, he says, I'm going to go hang with the boys or something like that. And... She goes, I love you. Oh. And then he says, it's very, very subtle. She goes, I love you. And he goes, I love you so much. It isn't even funny. Mm. So cute. Oh. Then she goes, I'm, s then she cups her funny. hand to whisper in his ear. And she goes, I'm so proud of you. I've, or she goes, I'm so proud. I've never been more proud of anyone in my entire life. Wow. And wow. then they smile and they leave. It is such <clears> a <throat> sweet exchange. And here's the thing. I read somewhere on Reddit that pe um, in this subreddit that I do sub to, but it's only to monitor what people are saying about my girl. It's called Swifty Neutral, and it's like Swift Swifties that aren't like sycophantic, mm. and they kind of make fun of and are uh, approaching Taylor from like a cynical point of view where they're just like, is she really that great? Why we do you even go there? Because I want to know what these people are saying so that I can... Defend her. Defend her. Okay. Not not on there, but I just it I have to I honestly am gonna unsubscribe. I decided yeah, that, that yesterday because dangerous. I'm so annoyed at these people and how much they like try to pick her apart. Yeah. And they are fans. That's the that's the irony of it. So they said there was one post the other day that was like, Is there something wrong with Swifties? Why do they keep posting like, oh my god, Taylor and Travis, oh my god, OMG, they're so in love. I can't stop watching this. This is this is my this lives rent free in my head. I've watched this five times to you know, all these things. They're like, have have Swifties ever been in a relationship before? Because this is what a relationship is. <laughs> um, guess what? No, we haven't. <laughs> we haven't. And we haven't been in one like this. This is you you to this woman who wrote this and I'm or whatever person wrote this, I guarantee you, you mean twat. No one has ever <laughs> loved you the way that Travis Kelsey loves Taylor Swift. And I bet you've never loved someone back because you're writing on the internet about people and being so mean. Mm. And the truth is, most of us haven't experienced this kind of love. It is they're in um what we call limerence for sure, which is this like mm. it's the honeymoon it's phase like where our brains poem. are like Yeah, yeah. We're in <laughs> Where the dopamine and serotonin is like firing at all times. It's a drug of like love. They're in it. But I don't know. They're, they seem to, they're both on top of the world. They're supporting each other's, um, like achieving the greatest things humans can achieve. Most of us don't have that relationship. F let us like indulge Bask in, it in a little the glow. Bit. Yeah. And don't be like, have you guys ever? No, sorry. My boyfriend doesn't call me sweetie. He calls me Glaze. Mm. You know, like I don't. Glaze dog. We don't say I love. Uh, we yeah, never said. Dog. I, yeah. Glaze dog. We never said. I. <laughs> we don't say I love you. I don't have that kind of relationship. And it's not saying that that's you like. You guys do Aww. say babe. Yes, we do have sweet like things that. like that. But like, I, no, he says babe. Ironically, he would never call me babe. Mm. He thinks it's cheesy. But I call him babe. You call him babe. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sorry. No, I don't. I don't have a relationship like that. Where it's right. just like, mm -hmm. oh, oh, like, like constantly. It's like, just jealousy of, of yes, course. Isn't people part of the, yeah. and it's not that I even want that. I'm just saying it's nice. Isn't part of the at. fandom, uh, being like or like living her relationships vicariously? Yes. Yeah. Sure. 
Yes. And Taylor like, should be proud back, of Travis Kelsey. He had an amazing game. I mean, he that was like vintage yeah. Travis Kelsey. He was Kelsey. 11 for 11. That's what I heard some guy yeah. say. Yeah. He, I don't even know what that means. He caught an incredible touchdown cast. Oh. A credible touchdown. Every time they threw a ball to him, he caught it. 11 wow. times. Yeah. That is impressive. Patrick Mahomes. Isn't that weird? Patrick that, Mahomes like, had 11 assists to Travis Kelsey. In that game. <laughs> but is is that is that incredible out of eleven passes thrown yeah. to catch eleven of them? That, that sounds pretty is, incredible to me. Fa- that sounds record breaking to me. I mean, what you're just saying, right? Yeah, it's, it's remarkable that Patrick Mahomes, like even if a quarterback just throws eleven of eleven, that was actually um, a record. Patrick Mahomes started the game, I think, eleven for eleven, and that was the most consecutive passes thrown by a quarterback in a conference championship game. And so that Travis Kelsey helped him out with that because he caught some pretty wicked passes so it it goes all together but yeah i felt amazing so cool um that night we were watching or chris went over to his brother's house to watch the lions versus the 49ers a tragedy and yeah that was so sad so i was watching the end of the game i was rooting for the lions obviously because they're underdogs they're under lions never been in the super bowl (laughs) yeah never been in the super bowl their their jerseys are so understated it's that like white it. with the light blue. It's like a baby's bedroom. You know, like it's just like <laughs> soft. It's cool. It looks like vintage. Little boys. Yeah, a little boy's bedroom. And um and I was but I was on the phone with my friend who's going through a breakup. So he was like talking to me on the phone and it had been like an hour of talking to him. Again. <laughs> which by the way, yeah, like I'm helping a friend through a breakup, which I, I, you are so kind, Nikki. I feel like I've been well, there through it. First with of him. all, men need more support. Men don't have the same kind of friendships that women have, right? And especially when they're getting out of a friendship where they weren't really not a. It's not like they were. The, usually, the, like friendship with women is hard to have when you have a girlfriend. So when you get right. out of that breakup, you don't have anyone except your male friends who don't give a fuck, okay. probably, or don't know how to emotionally right. support you. So. Uh, I come through for my male friends when you they're going through so something. good. I've been witness, witnessing it all You've weekend. been witnessing it. And Whitney. so, <laughs> um, so we, final thought, I'm watching the game. I have him on speakerphone and I did post something about the game while, I, while he was on the phone with me. And then he later saw the story posted and was like, he goes, I know that you posted this when I was oh like, oh my God, that's so funny. When I was, you know, not crying, but like, you know, just, and, um, and he goes, I'm not mad at all. This is so hilarious to me that you wrote this entire thing out. Cause I was writing something about like, both of them, both teams are going to have the same color Jersey. I don't even understand this game already. How am uh-huh. I going to explain this? So I like wrote a whole paragraph <laughs> and took a picture while he was on the phone. A hundred percent. There's no way that I took this at another time. It was definitely during the call. Um, but also I was watching the game and I felt so cool because I've never been, I've always wanted to be someone who like, when something happens in sports, you go like, Oh, <laughs> like, I never <laughs> once had that reaction. It always is like a millisecond after everyone else has the reaction. Like mm. it's never because the ball did anything that I understood. Right. I just go off of what other, like you could never, you would always think that I'm cheering with you, but it is a millisecond. Late You're like a dog in I'm the re- room. You're just like reacting to <laughs> yes, what the humans are doing. I just, well, yes, I'm chewing a bone and all of a sudden I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> and, um, so, but I was, I was into that game because I really did want the lions to yes. pull through in the end. Yeah. So some, some kind of fumble happened or incomplete pass. And I was, I was on the phone with him and I go, duh, and he <laughs> heard it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm such a man right now who's like not listening to his girlfriend. Yeah. I felt so cool. I told Doesn't Chris later, good? I was like, Chris, I was on the phone and I was listening to him talk about this thing. And then uh, there was an incomplete pass and I went, ah, and he like heard me. And I was like, isn't that cool? He was like, I don't even know what you're trying to communicate. I was like, I like, I think I understand sports. <laughs> you, uh, you, you had a reaction to something. I yes. think Starting. based on how I I felt at that in that game I was like I deserve to go to the Super Bowl oh I God. because I we we are going to Brian I, and I are going to I the Super Bowl dun, 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 wait dun, is that dun, breaking dun, news dun. have we breaking ever said news, that breaking news we that's yeah. how you're breaking it, it was the Super at the Bowl. end of I mean I don't 56 like, minutes I mean, in I don't know how else to tell you at anyone okay <laughs> so we're going to the Super you're Bowl you're not just going to the Super Bowl before you're going okay we are broadcasting yes Right. This is baffling. From the Super Bowl. Yeah. For some reason, 
iHeart Radio thinks it'd be a good idea to send the Nikki Glazer podcast to the Super Bowl, which oh I, I, God, I don't know so why. Cool. I don't know well, what they're I'm thinking. I'm so glad you will be there because you obviously know about football. I know literally nothing. It's going to be so, hilarious. You know more than most people. But you just demonstrated. You know I am a, a Swifty, and I feel like because the Chiefs yes, are there that, now, that, now, I actually it makes do belong. Like yes. there's, there's heart two things going on. Doing it for the, for there's the Super Bowl this. and Taylor Swift. Yes. It's football and Taylor Swift, and you need experts in both. Right. And there we it, go. The only thing All I'm right. as good at knowing about as people are at football, is Taylor Swift. Yes. So I feel like I belong. Am I researching what to wear? Yes. <laughs> Am I trying to figure it out? Am I now? Then someone got in my head because they were like, you notice that Taylor on away games, she never wears chief logos. She just wears the colors. And I'm like, oh, respectful. Oh, yeah. So I can I not wear chief color? Chief no, this is the logo? Super Bowl. This is anybody can wear whatever logo. they want. I, most Do we people... know if they're going to be in white or red? Um, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. When do we find that out? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had the interest in looking that up. Because I don't want to wear red if they're going to be in a white jersey. Well, it'll still be white, red, and yellow. And then the other team just don't wear gold you because do a red that's red. a 49ers that's color. Gold. But gold and yellow are very similar. <laughs> well, they have, it's like a darker. Where's yellow come in? Chiefs, Chiefs are yellow, yellow, red, and white. It's literally the same. They're, they're, the teams have the same And the colors. 49ers are red, a uh, darker gold. gold. And but I'm white. just, I bought a Taylor Swift shirt that's like a funny Chiefs Taylor Swift shirt. And I, but I kind of want to wear like a Chiefs dress. Like there's all these like crappy dress. Like I, I'm, I'm thinking about like planning a fun outfit yeah. for it. But I do, I was going to get my ticket to Chris to go because I really don't care. I'd like to see the halftime show, but I don't really care. But he was like, no, you have to experience the Super Bowl. You have to. And so I'm going and with Brian. And um, yeah, it'll be so fun to be with you, Brian, so it, because you will be able to explain everything to me and, and you'll be so excited. I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to be wearing uh, my Peyton Manning rookie jersey, who's on the Colt, who is a Colts jersey. So you can wear whatever. There's going to be tons of just different teams jerseys at the Super Bowl. People are really? not there. Really? I love how you know the, about this like a I tour. I heard that. <laughs> You're preparing me. Okay. Yes. People are not there. Like most of the people there aren't actually fans of the 49ers or the Chiefs. There'll be a lot of those, but... A lot of people are just there because a they have a lot of money and they're there for the event. Spectacle, or yeah. b they're just fans of football. It's the Super Bowl. I was gonna buy Allie, Brian's wife, and Chris tickets so they right. could also go. Right? They are so expensive. Oh, I. They're starting at nine thousand oh. dollars. Yeah, a oh. ticket. That's for bad what seats too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to you so, have to keep in mind it's the Super Bowl. There's only one of them, so it's just one time, once right. a year. And you're also getting tickets to an Usher concert, so that's got to be added in. Yeah. So yeah, like subtracted eight thousand dollars for the Super Kidding. Bowl, and then yeah, minus fifty for the Usher. No, uh, I'm really excited to see Usher. And I want to be oh, clear be to the amazing. besties, though. Um, yes. Uh, on the Friday of Super Bowl weekend, there's a thing called Media Day, and that's where they in a conference center or whatever. There's all of these different broadcasts happening simultaneously. Uh, all different podcasts being recorded, all different events happening, and that's where the Nikki Glazer podcast is going to be. At a sports desk, we're going to be the only podcast screaming about Uber. <laughs> we're going to be sitting at a sports desk, and we're going to be sitting at a sports and meditation, desk screaming oh my about God. it's going to be. That's so hilarious! I know. Are you kidding? Was I high when I said yes to this? Like, what was <laughs> no, I thinking? You were. If you were, you made the right answer, right? Oh, well, Brian, absolutely. it'll be fun. Can you share what you told me about this experience? Um, what did I tell you? I don't even you remember. You said that this was uh, like, um, you are so in, oh. in such disbelief. Oh yeah. Well, I'm in, I'm in disbelief. Well, I put this on my 50 under 50. Is that what you're talking oh about? Oh my God. We're getting your, this was this a, not even under your 40 under 40. I, 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 I said, I want to do this. I could have put it on my 40 under 40, but I felt like that was such a wild fantasy <laughs> that I put it under my 50 under 50 because then I Whoa. thought it was re realistic that I would go to the Super Bowl in that That's time. So cool. So yeah, like fourteen it's like years ahead of the schedule. Make a wish now. thing, like we started with yeah. the yeah. beginning of the show. And I got us tickets for Saturday night to go see um, Bert Kreischer <gasps> and Tom Segura at the MGM. Oh, Grand. I didn't know that. And, uh, yeah, I just got that last night. I got a wow. th weirdly enough. I, I think I I'm on some email list of people who are going to be in Vegas. So I got an email from their people. Wow, nice. Bert's Bert's people, and uh, and so we'll uh, hopefully get to hang out with them too. I looked um, up how. Uh, the sphere because that's the other big event and there's what's happening there who's there nothing. you too there's nothing over what? super bowl weekend 
Oh, yeah. why wouldn't they do something? There's too much Nothing going that, on. That, that, yeah, I don't know. February. Well, there's the day after there's something, but yeah. And it's okay. all sold out anyway. Yeah, that's true. I bet I bet it is. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna wow. be fun. Gambling too. Um, there's gonna, gonna, gonna be gambling be, happening. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you you're gonna gamble, right? Yeah, I mean Probably. I was I was just out of state, so I was uh, gambling on DraftKings over the last five days and I had a good win. Because <laughs> you can't tra- on DraftKings on in California. No, it's illegal. Oh um, um, for some oh. stupid reason because we voted for it and we all eighty percent voted no. These fucking props. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's gonna be some cool prop bettings. Well, that, actually, that oh, I thought you were talking about prop bets. Is that type of prop? Prop B- bets. Uh, type of bet. You should bet on some prop bets, Nikki. They're just fun. What color is the Gatorade gonna be? That's gonna be poured on the head coach that no wins. No way. Yeah, like stuff like that. How many songs is Usher Red. going to sing? What song will Whoa. Usher start with? How long is the oh. national Speaking anthem gonna be? Well, stuff the, like that. I could. Uh, but well, I could totally cheat on those bets. No offense, because I am friends with the director who directed my special. Huh? What's stopping me from going? Like, I don't know. How many songs is Usher singing? Maybe and then shouldn't I don't know. That I don't know. I mean, no, I would, why did I you would even never mention ju- this? I would never do that because I don't want to go to prison. But what's stopping anyone from doing that I, that has an inside maybe has track? An I don't know. Uh, maybe he signed an NDA. Yeah, maybe he can't say. Oh, okay. There's got to be well, something. Well, I would never do that anyway well, because I don't like NDA. to. But no, I didn't. <laughs> but whoever I would ask would probably do the, sign an NDA, of course. And so they'd be like, "I can't tell you because I signed an NDA, but it's eight. <laughs> you know, they'd probably. It's red. Gatorade. I can't wait to find out the special guests that are going to be on the Usher thing, mm. and the show. The Usher show itself is just going to be oh so. I can't God. wait to find out who the special guests are going to be on the podcast that we're doing yes. on Friday. We're doing two podcasts on Friday at Media Day, and we were Noah supplied us with a list of potential guests that some of them really pop off the page. Okay. Oh, wow. yes. <laughs> I will tell you that I didn't recognize a single that. <laughs> oh, but it's it's you know, that's good. Sports. That's good. I need to go into things like this because if I was intimidated, I would be freaked out. It's like when I did Selling Sunset. I don't watch that show so I could be cool on it. Right. But if I would have known how big the show is, I would have been like <gasps> and frozen up. Yeah. You know, yeah. Potentially. Well, so this, I gotta keep. I the gotta Super Bowl's keep. not a big deal then. Nick. Yeah. It's not a big deal. <laughs> There's only it's been so, 58 oh of my. them, so. God. And Taylor Swift will be oh, there. Oh yes, my God. that's why she it's wild. She easily can make that's it. That's why, why anyone even all makes sense. it is insane. iHeartRadio, I, I, sorry I questioned your decision before, but now that I somehow you knew that Taylor Swift was going to be at the Super Bowl, and therefore this was a brilliant decision. I mean, it's just like you got the Thank biggest Swiftie. Thank you Swiftie. So for marketing. He I mean, Nathan for marketing, Nathan. you fucking nailed it. And I'm so thankful that I get to go to the Super Bowl <sighs> and Nikki gets to be once again... In a football stadium with Taylor Swift. Uh, yes. Yes. Jeez. Whoa, I do. Once again. This yes. is unbelievable, really. Wow. It's unbelievable. I cannot wait. Do we know what our seats are yet? No. Not yeah. yet. Do you know that info? No. <gasps> to top it all off, I'm going to see Taylor Swift twice in Australia oh, in February. February God. 18th in Melbourne and February 23rd in Sydney. And then Chris texted me today. He just sent me... Which is hilarious because he doesn't really even want to go. I know for a fact. Matchbox 20, gonna be in Melbourne oh, when I'm there. Wow. So I'm gonna go see God. them too. Melbourne. Wow. Yeah. Your life. It's 3 a.m. I must be lucky. Mm. Oh. You know? I'm blessed. A little matchbook. A little little matchbox. Matchbox. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go you see Matchbook 20 too. They're am- Wait, you saw them this summer. I saw them with Weren't you. Weren't they amazing? Oh, amazing. Amazing. It, it was, was so up there with fun. Era's tour for me. Okay. Um, guys, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. We'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to be wearing my new shirt. Tune into that. Um, Mom, you're not going to be here. Taylor will be here. But um, nice. thanks for being here today. Thank you love for you having so me. Much. I love you so much. I love you too. Oh, did I say I love you? Yeah. Oh, I did? I, lo- I do love you. Did you I just say didn't that? know I said I it. Think you did. I thought you said that. It was kind of uh, okay. Got I it. felt it. I like forgot I said it before. Oh, oh well, I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't be cool. And <laughs> just, uh, well, go watch Super Bowl. Well, yeah, but we'll be back before then. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs>